What's up guys? We're back with another review on WandaVision. Hope you guys are all doing well. Hope you're all safe. So, what can I say? That was a fucking episode. I'm sorry to curse, but that was really awesome. Um, wow. Just, when you think that they can't throw any more curveballs at you, they just do another one. And another one. And another one. This had to be the craziest thing I've seen so far, right? And it's just like I keep giving each episode like a very high rating. But as time goes on, it just gets better and better. So like I I get annoyed. I need to keep giving it like a 9 and a 10 and a 9 and a 10 just because it's great. If I could go back and change them, the first two would be like a 7 or an 8 because it doesn't really pick up like that. Everything else would be like 8, 9, to 10. But let's begin, right? Um, we basically start off with... Um, we're getting back to the sitcom part. Because the last episode was more of like what's going on. The outside part of it. Which was really great. Love that. Um, now we get back to the whole sitcom thing. They're taking care of the kids. And basically um, what we see is... They have powers. We all knew they were going to have powers because she has powers. And in the comic books, they have powers. But we see them age up, right? And as I said, by the time this show is done, they're going to be at a certain age that they can leave that bubble and be adults. And, well, or maybe young teenagers, like 16 through 18-ish, right? Um, and basically, they're going to... Go into the X-Men. That's what I think. That's that's one theory I'm still holding on to. Right? So we see them age up. We see that they have powers. We see that they are immune to the powers too. Which is very interesting. Because I would assume, hey, even though we have powers, I, I could still do this to you. Because, well, she created them. She could still control them. But hey, it doesn't work like that. Um, we see that part. That part's very interesting. I'm still holding on to that theory. Um, we see Agnes is still kind of sus. I think that's just me. She's still kind of sus. But I don't know if you guys saw the trailer for the next episode. I'm probably going to link it down below. I might change my view on her. Because... So... So I personally thought... Um, I just lost my train of thought real quick. That's why I was getting stuck. Um, I personally thought um, she's there to help Wanda, right? I think she is, but I don't think that's the person. You know how Wanda is in control of everybody else, right? And like they get to just go do their own thing. I think somebody on the outside of the bubble is controlling that character. I'm changing up my viewpoint. Just because the trailer that I saw, it's either the character is lying to Vision because um, Vision basically um, does that thing. And if you saw this episode, he did it to Norm. And like he kind of like, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to call it. But like he, he brought him back in check, right? Like everything was straight and Norm was just like, where the hell am I? What's going on, right? Like snap back into reality in the trailer he does that to agnes and agnes is like yo what's going on i'm gonna link it down in the description but i still think that character if she's lying to vision or if she's not i still think she's on wanda's side or is playing both sides i just think she's there like to to keep things in check from not getting too crazy that's still my views right um, something very important in this episode was Vision starts to see things. Like I just spoke about Norm, right? Like he starts to see, wait a minute. What's going on here, right? And then before the Norm part, Wanda starts using her powers in front of the kids, in front of Agnes. And Wanda's just like, oh, no, it's fine. I just want to do this now. And he's just like, wait a minute. We were supposed to be hiding this. What's happening? And it's just like he's starting to see things and things start to heat up, right? So let's keep going. Um, I have all these notes. Um, so it starts to heat up. She starts to show people, well, no, show the kids and 
Agnes her powers, that doesn't really go down too well with Vision, right? And then randomly, I kind of get why they added this part. So basically, they get like a dog and um, basically, wow, I always say basically. I'm gonna try to stop that. So they get the dog and I think it was more trying to teach Wanda, like, you can't do things. But, like, she was kind of being a hypocrite. Because, basically, what happens is um, they get the dog. They have fun with it, blah, blah, blah. The dog runs away. And then they find the dog. The dog's dead. But then, what's crazy about that part was that we find out that the kids know that she's controlling things. How she could bring people back to life, right? And... I find that that's cool that they kind of know. I think it was probably during the creation, like, they kind of... I don't know how to say this without sounding, like, too weird. But then again, we are talking about a comic book show where people fly and have powers. But it's just, I feel like just because she created them, like, they just know. It's like a gut feeling, right? Like, they just know. So... That part of the show, I liked and I didn't like just because it was just a classic, like, sitcom thing. Like, it was to just teach you a lesson. And I'm just like, we know Wanda's being a hypocrite. Because the kids come out and say, hey, why don't you do it like how you do it, Ma? Help us out. Bring back our dog. You did this. And basically, they were trying to teach her the lesson. Like, yo, stop being a hypocrite. Do what you got to do. Make us happy. Let's go. So, I like that part. Um, What else? What else, right? So, something that I noticed was Norm and Monica. They explained the feeling of being under control the same way. And what I think is happening is when you're under control, you're feeling what Wanda's feeling. Is that pain, that sorrow, that miserable feeling. And I feel like when they get snapped out of it, snapped back into reality, they're like, yo, that shit was depressing. Because they both said it. Um, that's very interesting. Um, one thing that I liked and I didn't like, just because... It's going to make the story deeper, but then again, I just want things to end happy, and, and I know it's not going to be a happy thing, is the people at S.W.O.R.D. were basically making Wanda be the bad guy. They were calling her a, a terrorist. Does she have a different name? Because, uh, like, they didn't want to call her by, like, her, like, Avengers name and stuff like that but shout out to Jimmy and Darcy for saying nah she's still a good guy no wait a minute was it Jimmy and Darcy or Jimmy Darcy and Monica that part I quickly forgot but shout out to them for still trying to push that narrative of hey she's still in a, an Avenger she basically was about to solo Thanos and then he called in that um excuse my language that pussy move where he was just like Rain down fire to kill everybody. Get her off of me. Like, she, she was going to solo him. She saved the planet, basically. She was one of the people to save us all. So, let's relax. Let's figure out what's happening. Let's go try to save her or get her out of it, right? I like that part because it's going to heat things up. And as I keep going, because it does heat up. Um, basically, that, yo, I keep catching myself. That's crazy. I... I feel like I should do something with that. With the whole saying basically thing. But, so, let's keep going. Sword sends in a drone. I forgot how they get it inside. Oh, no, wait a minute. You could just go inside. Yeah, you could just go inside. So, they send in the drone. They see her. And we're all thinking, okay, they at least know what's going on. They're seeing what's happening. And Sword pulls a fast one and says... Shoot the missiles. You're telling me. Hold up, hold up. Let's pause real quick. Hold up, hold up. Oh, my head is looking ridiculous. I just shaved, but let's pause real quick. You're telling me you're going to shoot a missile at Wanda and her kids because I think the kids were still there, right? Mind you, this lady has powers. She was going to Thanos Thanos. She was going to dust his ass. 
And you're telling me a little drone with a rocket was going to do something? Really? Are you mad? Yo, that's the only part that kind of got me upset. Because you could have done anything else. You could have done anything else. But you said, let's go shoot this little rocket at her. She has powers. You know this. She's an Avenger. Oh, my God. But back to it. That kind of upset me. But this is where shit gets real, right? She takes the drone out. She's walking out. But when she walks out, her clothes go back to normal. And her eyes are red. You hear her accent. She's pissed. She's angry, right? And what happens is they all point the guns at her and says, yo, you better relax. And then Monica comes in to try to be that, like, that middleman. Like, hey, chill out. We're good here, guys. Come on. Um, which I like that because we need at least one, two, three people to not give up on her. Um, so she comes out and they're talking and you could tell, like, she just doesn't want to hurt nobody. She just wants to be in her bubble, mind your business, go somewhere else. And like I said, in the past, she picked the worst place to do it. But what I liked was that it got darker and they're talking and then they say, what do you want? And you could feel the pain in her chest. And she goes, I have everything that I want. I'm good. I'm here. Leave me alone. And then she turns everybody. Everybody with the guns. She takes control and they point it at the director of S.W.O.R.D. And that reminded me back in the X-Men movie when Magneto took all the guns and pointed it back at them. Well, back at the cops. And I was just like, that was pretty cool. I like it. Don't get me wrong. That was dark. And technically, just because of that, they could actually consider her a terrorist and now say, okay, now we got to go kill her because she just threatened us. But, hey. Um, and now to the final end, which was crazy. All right? Actually, before we get there, the scene where Wanda breaks in and steals Vision's body, supposedly that was supposed to be at the end of Endgame, but they wanted Endgame to feel like the end of a chapter. But imagine we saw that, and we waited this long. That would have been the most depressing stretch of time known to man. Okay, back to it, right? Um, one thing that we found out was Vision didn't want to be brought back. And now we know why he wasn't in Endgame, because that was against his will. But now his own wife is just like, nah, we bringing your ass back, because I love you so much. But then, that's... Now I actually go to the end. The craziest part of them all was the ending, which I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it just because there's so many possibilities to come with it. We see Quicksilver, but not our Quicksilver. It's the X-Men version of Quicksilver. My friend Aaron put it perfectly. He said, maybe her powers are going crazy and now the timelines are clashing, which that sounded so perfect. I can't even say it any better than that, which would be great. We could get some of the X-Men. We could get Fantastic Four, even though we are getting the Fantastic Four. It's just like there's so many opportunities with that sentence alone, right? But some people are saying it's not that. He's probably an imposter. There's a bad guy named Mephisto. He's basically a big bad for Wanda. So it's just like he could be introduced here and he could be an imposter and be Quicksilver. But the one thing that kind of tripped me up was you could tell she knows there's something wrong with that. Yes, quick, her Quicksilver is dead, but that's not even her Quicksilver. So she knows that, wait a minute, that's not even my brother, but she was quick to accept it. That's, that's something a bit sus, but this leaves us with so many questions, so many more curveballs, because there's little things that they said throughout the episode, like when they were talking about um, the clothes, right? Like, let's jump back real quick, because I'm going to go back to the ending, because I love the ending. Um, let's jump back real quick, because there was little things that they were, like, talking about. Um, they mentioned Captain Marvel again, right? And then um, they were talking about, like, a scientist they, they wanted to bring in. And some people have three people in mind. It could be um, Mr. Fantastic. It could be Dr. Doom. Or it could be um, the Black Panther's little sister. Because my speech impediment, sometimes it doesn't come out right. But um, her name is Shuri. S-H-U-R-I. Right? It's the little sister. But she's a genius. 
So we don't know who's going to come in because they confirmed it. There's going to be people coming in that you're just not going to see coming. Like it's a curveball after curveball after curveball after this, after that craziness, pandemonium. So we don't know if we're going to see that, right? Um, but the whole thing with Quicksilver, man, you guys could text my friends. Like I was watching it on Friday at like eight in the morning and I was screaming. I was screaming my head off. I was just like, guys, wake up, wake up. I was screaming because I'm just like, there's so many possibilities. And now we could connect timelines or maybe he's an imposter. We don't know. But I really love this episode. This episode was ridiculously awesome. This is, so, this is the type of shows that we need to get when it comes to stuff like this. Like DC should have made stuff like this to start connecting things and start making things more darker because we all know how they love to try to be dark. Like we need shows like this that are gonna keep us on our seats. Well, the edge of our seats because this is fresh. This is new for Marvel. And like I said, I don't think any other show after this is gonna top this show. I'm gonna keep it like that just because I don't think they're gonna get as dark. They released the, um, the Falcon and Winter Soldier uh, trailer. That looked good. Don't get me wrong. Like, that looks good. But I I just don't think it's going to keep me there like how WandaVision is. But hope you guys enjoyed. What was your favorite part? What are the little things that you noticed? Who do you think is going to come in? Do you think Doctor Strange is still going to pop up in the end and start mixing her up or just come in to fix things? Do you think it's going to be Mr. Fantastic, Doctor Doom, Captain Marvel? What do you think is going to happen in the next episode? Hope you guys watch the trailer because the trailer, we start to get deeper, right? Um, oh, question before I let you guys go. Um, so now that we see Vision, like, knowing things and, like, he's questioning reality and we saw the standoff, it was very awesome. I forgot to talk about that part. I really love that part because that's when you see him show emotion. He never showed any emotions back in... Um, Infinity War. So now it's like you see him. What the? What is going on? And he starts flying and stuff. I was just like, oh, oh. And I said it. They were going to fight. I said it. But I personally think that they're going to fist fight. Start beaming each other. But hey. Um, my thing is. My question. Do you think she's going to keep rewinding things? Because he now knows things are going south. Do you think she's going to warp his mind? Or do you, you think she's just going to let him continue questioning things? Because he said it. Where are the kids? What's going on here? He's seeing things. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. And I hope you guys have been watching this show. I think it comes out Friday or Thursday. I'm still not too sure. I just wake up and it's there. And I'm like, oh. And I watch it. I start screaming. So hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. Much love. Be safe.